and Ian the Diamond White. Tonight, we've got some huge names on the way, not least the two-time back-to-back world champion Adrian Jackpot Lewis on stage right now. For the world number one, Michael Van Gogh, and the world champion Gary Anderson also on the way. Jackpot has got to get past John Bowles, the Bulldog. I'm Dan Dawson, and in the commentary box with me for this one is the former world number one, Rod Harrington. Yes, good evening, Dan. Good evening, evening everyone. <coughs> yeah, we've got um, some talent on show this evening here in Munich. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Right, first right, leg, John, so through first. Game, game on! Down, Michael Van Gerwen. Interesting to see how he plays. He wasn't too well on Thursday. Uh, but i uh, literally just spoken to him, and uh, he's in good, wow. fine fettle, I have to say, laughing and joking. Matt Porter did say, you better go and do some practices, and I don't need it. <laughs> I've heard that one before. Well, well, well. What? So, doesn't get much cut with that from Adrian Lewis. Right mm. off the bat. A maximum. Well, what a start to the evening session from the two-time world champion Adrian Lewis. And again. Oh, it looked good as well. When Adrian gets his first dart right, there's there's almost an inevitability. It must be really tough playing him because you, you kind of just expect when the first dart's where he wants it, you may as well just go back to the table and have a drink because it's not going to get any better for you. Not You're exactly you. right. I mean, you, you must stand there and see the first dart go in the top of the travel and you think, not again. Give me a break as, as this one has. But he, he does waste darts at times. We have to say that like that third dart was a long way off. And uh, when it comes out of nitty gritty, you need to make sure every dart counts. But John Bowles, it doesn't wow. matter what AD does, it, it won't frighten him. John will still play his, old, his game. I was going to say an old game then, because he's had some stick over what I said the other day, apparently. 65. Calling him one of the, like the old time dart player. It was meant in the way he conducts himself and what have you. So uh, just to put them people right. Ooh. Now then, John Bowles. Ooh. Well, good setup. So he's sat on double twelve. If Lewis fails to take this out, he might do. You know, twelve. He has. And Adrian Lewis racing out the blocks, unable to kill the leg off, and John Bowles has just walked up behind him, tapped him on the shoulder. I was going to say, said, I'll have that leg, thank you very much, but he's not taking it at all. No, and the first dart was, was, looked a good guide from where we were sitting, just on the wire. Well, that's a chance, there is a break of throw for Lewis, but that's a chance for Bowles to hold on to his throw there. And you feel if AD get in, gets into his stride, the chances are going to maybe few and far between. Well, again, the second leg on the track. Already. Well, John Bowles had to come through the opening round as an unseeded wow. player. He beat Fabian Hertz, the German host nation qualifier, the phenomenally tall, thin, gangly Bavarian. Wow. And he was solid against Fabian Hertz at a 91 average. Now, that against Adrian Lewis. Well, it looks to be the Adrian Lewis that's turned up here tonight. That might not be enough. No, but it depends how, <coughs> how you're going to get that 91 average. There is, there is different ways of getting it. I know it sounds a bit alien, um, but you, you can have a 91 average and be great on your throw, mm. and the, lo the legs that you lose, you may want 300. Yeah. You know, that happens. We see James Wade used to do that a lot, not so much wow. now. Where he'd, he'd only have a, a 96, 97 average, but he'd beat people who had hundreds of averages. So, uh, Different ways of getting that average. Ooh, good second dart, moving across, finding the treble 20, and that leaves Game double four, and he does put it this time. Game First dart, and it's a 2 0 lead. Game on. The winner of this one will face James Richardson. Fulton. The Surprise victor over Terry the Bull Jenkins, a 6-2 winner. It's pretty convincing stuff. Yes, two games he's played, played extremely well. Solid throw and uh, good scoring power, I have to say, but uh, Jenkins was well out of sorts. 
missed doubles all over the place, couldn't find the treble at crucial times. And German crowd getting involved this evening. They've commendably decided to move away from the wow. Kolo Yala chance, and gone with the, the German crowd's favourite. It's where the people downstairs go, hello upstairs, the people upstairs go, hello downstairs. It's a lovely little chant. Aren't we having a lovely time at the dance? John Balls. One minute, 14. Missing out on his first maximum. Looks in good form this evening, does A.D. Lewis. That first dart there was really low on the one. Instead of just throwing the other two like he, he, he sometimes does. No, he checked himself. Found the treble. 60. A.D. require 161. He doesn't need to go for it. But he might. Can and he does! Four players. Four players going in the throw first. Game on. Well, when everything's feeling right, and it must do for Adrian Lewis right now. Why not? Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. Nine it's what the crowd want to see. It's what the punters want to see. Of course, that is over on the checkout. So if you've backed that, you are put in. Well, there is the average. Front nine, 126. We're just on 127, which is exceptional. 111 and a half. That is exceptional as well. And that's where the few missed doubles in that opening leg. It was. Yes. One hundred and thirty-four. Wouldn't have the front nine average, but certainly the overall average. But it's gradually going up as well. 16, 12, 12. One World class 14. stuff. The thing is, we know this is what Adrian Lewis is capable of. Is it another? One hundred and forty. And listening to him talk in the Premier League on Thursday night, he managed to get a win. He's gone back into the top four at the expense of James Wade. And he was asked about his form. It's been well, up and down. He's win, one, loss, one, win, one, loss, one, essentially. And he said, well, look at the games I've lost. I've only lost to Michael Van Gerwen, Gary Anderson and Phil Taylor, the three blokes above me in the rankings. As we wanted tops, tops there. And it was almost a kind of acceptance from him. That, well, they're very good players I've lost to. And I, what I kind of want to see from Adrian as bowls... Game takes out the one two four six. Four. We'll have some of that back, Adrian. John from first. Yeah, that's that's class from John Game Bowles, on. and against the throw. I said it doesn't matter what AD does. Bowlesy will get up there and play his own game, and he's certainly done that and proved that. One leg, and let's be honest, it could be two all. Oh, it really could. And that's three consecutive twelve darters we've had in this match. We've got a game on here. One Just to go back to my point, Adrian Lewis is the prime candidate over the next 10 years to be the man challenging Michael Van Gogh in the finals of major tournaments. Totally agree. And I quite like to see him go, you know, and he has done it, he said, you know, I've got to set my sights on Van Gogh and I've got to go after him and, you know, start beating him in big tournaments, but come on, seem a bit nastier. I see him really mean it rather than just go, oh well, Phil, Gary, and wow. Michael beat me. It's time, you know, they're, they're the top three in the world. He should be, he could be top number one in the world. He has been. Yeah. He's that I, good. I absolutely agree with you. I mean, this is a, a, wow. you know, a great display of what he can do just casually getting up there. Mm. I, I just feel at times, and it, it sounds silly, that AD does not put 100% into this game. But I call him like the George Best because, you know, George Best used to turn up and, and not do it, and that's just the way it is. Game and that and is a fourth there. consecutive 12 Play darter in this game. Six Three of them for Lewis, one of them first. for Bowles. Game on. And we are being treated to an absolutely spectacular game of darts here. Well, I, well, I agree with you. He is one of the players that... <laughs> well, that's another off the bat 180. <laughs> one of the players one of the few players that at the moment can hack it with Michael Van Gerwen because they've got this electrifying scoring power well, he's, he's got everything look he's won two world titles he won the European Championship and the UK Open and the UK Open he was untouchable mm. by the time he got to the final against Terry Jenkins I think he averaged 110 to win 11-1 in the final against Terry Jenkins nobody was beating him that weekend and if he did that on a more regular basis Michael Van Gerwen would not be having things all his own way 81. No, I absolutely agree with you. And look at those Jeez. stats. I mean, this is an incredible display from AD. 94. 
have to say that Adrian Lewis has been very, very, very good this year. Obviously, the World Championship final. He won one of the UK Open qualifiers. He has been there or thereabouts in a lot of the Nine floor two. events so far this year. 134. Ooh, a rare loose dart from Adrian Lewis there. He's got a good pace to his throw today and tonight, though, Dan. He isn't rushing any darts. And if the first dart is not right, instead of just throwing the other two, there's a little bit of, you know, maturity in, in his game to hold back a little bit. And I've always said that you know, if he could just slow up a tad, it makes him one dart a leg more consistent. And let's face it, that's all he needs. 14. He's usually a great hitter of Dr. Tom's, Adrian Lewis. 36. Will he get another go at it? He might not. Sean Bowles, how about this? Oh, oh what a right up. That was unlucky. Would have been a one, 126 and a 136 from John Bowles. The double top, and that looks a pretty good guide. 30. John, you require 16. Oh, well, this will drag the averages down, but more importantly, it could allow John Bowles a way back into this. That's a tough couple of darts to find the double from there, though. Is he going to go right? Is he going to go the left? Score. Yeah. The way John's darts are going, they're kicking. Uh, the flights are kicking to the right from the barrel. Game shot in the sixth round. But again, in leg and one, he had a chance for John first. Bowles. Three darts, a double Game time, another three darts there. Adrian Lewis looking to close this out here. Messing about on the doubles, you can see there. One in three isn't great for Adrian Lewis. The averages will be even higher than that, will they? But maybe John Bowles, you know, could have won an extra couple of legs at least in this match. Could be three all. So even though Adrian has been throwing the kitchen sink at him, John Bowles has had little chances here and he there. He has. He's stuck in there, which we knew he would. You know, he isn't the guy that gets phased. He just gets on with his own game. You'll never see any tactics from Bowles here or anything like that. He just gets up there, very respectful player. Old-time dark player, An old -time in many respects. Making out like old in the olden days, dark players were sort of courteous and professional. You were horrible we to were. each other. You used to no, kick we each were. other. Nine two five. Yeah, oh, you're not much better now, they. Deserved it. Oh, it would have been a showpiece had he finished it with a one seventy. Forty two. John require one. What a great chance here for John to get a second leg on the board. Oh no, he needs to set it up. Oh, oh no, that he's not touching. Is that touching? Yeah, is that touching? Lad? <laughs> <laughs> Hang on a minute. It's touching, lad. Yes, that's okay. Well, is that, he wants the treble 20, I think. He can't go up the top. He's going well, to yeah, 36. I think he was Another literally one. covering the entire treble 20. How do you require 128? <laughs> yeah, he couldn't see the treble 20. Oh, 54, now, 70, uh, another one of those. Oh, he's just missed out there. 88. John, then, John requires 77. Perhaps a little trickier than it might have been because of the unfortunate second dart with your previous visit, but 77 is gettable. Only going to get one dart. A double top. Can he pick it? Well, John, John Bowles makes the fight front another front leg, first. and Adrian Lewis Game hasn't on. got this one quite yet. Well, it's like you say, Dan, as, as well as Adrian's played, the averages, you know, are telling you that he's played exceptional. 55! And yet, he's given John Bowles a couple of chances in legs, and if John had taken it, all of a sudden, 80 would have been up against the wall. Yeah, I remember... And, and it, a bit of a panic on. Yeah, I remember here last year, Michael Van Gerwen, the only... Uh, John Henderson ran in close in the final, it went 6-5. But the most danger he was in was against Jamie Caven at this point in the final. And Cave missed the dart to one beat dart, him. One top. dart, double top on the yeah. end of a three-figure checkout. I think about 107, something like yes, that. Yes, it was. Yeah. And that, they're the chances you get. It's one, one dart one. here or there against these top boys when they're playing. Even when they're playing well, you can get chances to beat them. It's just whether you can convert perhaps that 
one dart again. John Bowles at the World Championship a few years ago nearly beat Gary Anderson. He had, th he had one dart on three separate occasions to knock him out. Missed all of them and Gary managed to sneak through. But this isn't wow. over just yet because that is John Bowles' first maximum. He's on to a finish. Fazina, John, you require 121. He's going to get nine, uh, six dance from here. Doesn't need to go the bullseye route. Well, he he's going to the treble seven, which is the way the players go now to leave the double top. And he's set it up, so he's going to get three clear darts at that double top. 45. Trying to require 40. It's a break of two consecutive legs to John Bowles. First time Game it's on. happened in this match. And he's throwing to try and make it through. And this game looks very, very different from how it looked six, seven minutes ago. Wow. It certainly does. I mean, it, it, it's a good exercise for youngsters to watch John Bowles. I mean, he was getting better than the score. And no expression. Didn't show any weakness to Aidy that is getting to him. He just got up there, you know, played his own game. The one thing that does annoy me, with, with especially with youngsters, you know, you can show the weakness behind the player so he can't see it. Don't show it in front of him because you're, all you're doing is giving him confidence. John Bowles, it doesn't matter. He's, he's going up there playing his own game. Doesn't show Aidy a thing. Did you, when you were up there, if you could see that a player was getting frustrated or angry Lovely. or yeah, you did, did it make you? Did it make you more? Did it make you play better? It made you more confident, and, and, and confidence is what, what makes you win. And uh, yeah, it does. If, if someone shows weakness in front of you, they start shaking their head and, and all that. You think I've got you. Rob Harrington, some sort of anger vampire, feeding off the <laughs> frustration of others to make himself more powerful. Well, Down you talk, the 19s here. You talk to Taylor, he'll tell you exactly the same. He used to love it when he see people under pressure. Well, another chance here. Well, if John Bond can take this leg, he's going to get John six dots again. 82. He's got one leg against the throw. That's That's a seven. That's a treble 17. Well, now the big 18 leaves him top. 42. Just about got it in there, that'll do. He hit Top's first dart last leg to get. And as good as AD was, in the last three legs. It's John, you require Is it like a typical AD Lewis performance in a way, isn't it? Now. Game yeah, shot. There the it play. is, and it's 5 Jump 4. All changing this first. one. Well, now this is where AD wants to kick off with a maximum and throw a 12 dart and take, one and take half, the leg completely out of John Bolt's hands. John Bowles is not going to let you take it out of his hands, it would appear. He's going to be right there with you, Adrian. So that's as good a performance as I've, we've seen for a long time from John Bowles. You know, to, to be battered like he was in them first few legs with the heavy scoring from Lewis. Like I said, he's, he's just stuck in there, played his own game. And now he's got to... Uh, he's lady really thinking about this game. Yeah, well, but when he... Nearly beat Gary Anderson at the Worlds a few years back. Oh, hang on, he could do wow. some damage this lad. And then he had a poor year last year. He lost his tour card, won it back this year in Q School. He's just built a darts practice room at his house, apparently. So, if you require one, he's practice board. Big things might happen. Adrian Lewis, 1 2 1 for the match, though. 81. And he will return with three clear darts. And that's it. Yeah. Leave himself double top after 12 darts with the throw to win the match. That's what he Can't had to ask for much more than No, he, and that's what he had to do. He couldn't let John get close to him in this leg because John would have had the throw. 29. So you require that game That shot. is that for Adrian Lewis. He raced out of the blocks and there were people feverishly waving bits of paper around with Adrian Lewis record averages halfway through that game. He didn't quite materialise, but he still finished it with a 99 average, three maximums. And a 6-4 win against a spirited opponent in John Bowles. Adrian Lewis is through to the last 16 and will face James 